We're side by side. This is not going to work. This is so not going to work. Oh, it might work. Go on. Come on. Keep going. Side by side. <laughs> Switch back. Going to tie up the line. Switch back of dreams. Come on. Yes. Hey, what's up, guys? Arab here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today, and welcome to driving a Formula 1 car around a go-karting circuit. Yep, no one asked for this video, just like they didn't ask for the one where we took a go-kart around Monaco, but here we are. We're back again for another random combination of car and track, but basically, you guys wanted me to do the reverse flip of it. I took a go-kart to Monaco, drove around there. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of uh, fun doing a race around there, and also just lapping Monaco in general was uh, quite an experience to say the least in a shifter car so if you didn't miss that video be sure to go check that one out but uh, today we're doing the reverse we're, we're here with the formula hybrid car and we're going to be driving it around a go-karting circuit it's a it's a circuit that's literally made for a go-kart it's not made for a formula one car you know even the modern formula one cars are quite long and boat like compared to the you know 10 years ago the f1 cars of 08 it's 09 uh, more like 08 really 08 or you know, pre-08 they were quite tiny actually compared to the modern ones we have and then even those are huge compared to small little you know car you, you guys must have been you, surely majority of you must have sat in a go-kart and just realized that the size of it compared to a formula one car is pretty big so this is going to be I don't know, kind of, I feel like the, like the race of champions, almost. You'll be in kind of first, maybe second and third gear for most of the lap, really. Probably second for most of it. But I just don't know. I haven't tried it out yet. We're going to try it out here for you all, and you're going to see my live reaction to it. So uh, let's hope it's uh, as fun as the go-kart around Monaco was. Oh, this is going to be quite something. Right, let's get going. I don't know what the track layout's like. There's no track map. I put track map on, but there is none. Just going to have to guess how it goes, but here we go. This is such a tiny track for this car. Second gear, literally first and second gear. Oh, no. Oh, the understeer. See, in a go-kart, this would be fine. But in an F1 car, this is just absolutely not going to... This is literally not the race of champions all over again when I did this video. Uh, nearly this time last year. I mean, I did it in January, I think, of this year. In 2019, where I did the Race of Champions in an F1 car. Because obviously they were doing the uh, Race of Champions in proper. So I thought we'd take an F1 car to it. But that's the lap. That's, that's literally that. That's literally the lap. And I can't get any power on. It's literally first gear. It's honestly first gear. Maybe second for this part. If I'm feeling brave. And then you have to slow down all over again. And the lock I'm having to put on is so unnatural uh, in a Formula 1 car. But I feel, if you get used to it, the finesse you can get with a Formula 1 car, in terms of trying to drift, I feel like you have to almost start drifting the car around. To kind of get, get the power on too early, get the back end wagged out, and then here, you can definitely put the power. I mean, how fast can we go around here? Uh, uh, let's see, I can't make that corner. I can't make that corner at full power. I can sort of go full power. I can definitely go full power here for a brief... We can get to fourth gear for a brief moment before getting the rear out turning the car in and then here is just first gear all the time lock to lock steering it's like i'm playing f1 2011 lock to lock steering get the nose in early and then just wait for the, the, the front end to bite in the understeer and how big this car is. it's not even understeer it's just the car's too big for the circuit it's not even like this car has downfalls of course but here stick it through down one gear cut the corner there oh narrowly missed the barrier i feel like that's the the motive with that first corner you have to cut the corner there like like if if like a if a dr driving coach was trying to teach you this lap in an F1 car, he'd say, yeah, yeah, everyone cuts the corner there in turn one because there's just no way you can carry the speed otherwise. But, uh, oh, right. What have I done? I've done a one... What's my best lap time? What, 34 seconds? Right, I want to see if I can beat 34. Like, if I can do better than that. Can we creep into 33? We're 34 dead. I think it's my best. Right, let's try 33. Cut the corner there. No, I, that, that's gone horribly wrong. I'm also going to change the ERS modes. Like, that's going to do an, a, anything at this sort of circuit. But I'm going to go to hot lap mode. I'll, I'll do, actually, you know what? I'll do hot lap mode uh, once we get back through. So I'll go charging right now. And I'll charge it up. I've got some dust in my tires and board you right now. Let's try and shake that away. All right, we're ready. Hot lap mode. Don't go too wide there. Get the power down. Right. I'm going to stay. Uh, second gear. Turn it in. Nice. Lovely apex there. Slow it down. Come on. Get the power on now. Cool. Gonna stay in this gear. Slide round. Get the nose turned in. Oh, lovely apex there. Narrowly missed there. Another sharp left. Get the power down. K 
keep it. Second gear, get the nose and turn in early because we've got a double apex here. Then into a left, go across the grass a little bit. Then again, early corner, take the curb early on the exit. What's that going to be? A 32-5. 32.5. I will take that. That's, I think that's decent. That's an improvement of about one and a half seconds there. I shaved off. Just for comparison's sake, I'm going to now drive an actual go-kart around here and see what the difference is in terms of, I don't know, the feeling, I guess. Like the difference in speed or if this track will actually be good. And there is much better feeling of power steering right now because we're on a go-kart circuit. So you can actually feel... I can, you know, feel the more the resistance of the force feedback and the curbs. You can feel them a lot better, right. See, look, even the grip levels, sort of there. I need to get get used to it now. I need to put the power on, even once to turn in, turn in. I mean, even this is understeering a lot. Oh, oh we've got some airtime. This cart's so small compared to the curb. You get airtime with the curb. Right, let's go. This, surely this will be a little bit easier in this car. Full pelt. Come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I may have killed myself if this was real life. I'm maybe a little bit more pedestrian-like. Lift off. Oh, slide, slidey, slidey. Keep it, keep it, keep it in. Hit the bump again. Through the last corner. What will this, what will this be? Will this be any faster than the F1 car? Or will the go-kart be slower? Cross the line. 45 seconds. F1 car does go a little bit faster. I think that's because I'm, I'm either not driving this car correctly or this car is just very, very slow. Now, what I've done here is, you can see, we've got a 15-man uh, race because there's only a set amount of pit boxes at this kart track. We're doing a 10-lap race around the kart track in the Formula Hybrid cars. <laughs> this is not going to go well. I can already see turn one is going to be apocalyptic, but... Let's just, uh, let's see how it goes, eh? Oh, my lord. <laughs> this is, this is so ending badly. This is ending so badly. Here we go, then, to six red lights, and we're underway. Oh, my god. I don't even go that quick. What, what's gonna, how, how are we gonna do that? Oh, oh, no. Okay, everyone's actually going quite slow. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, there we go. I thought for a second there we were going to get some racing. The Renault has... Uh, I've now got an occupancy warning of over 99%. I don't know what that means, but there's a massive crash ahead of us because the Renault went sideways, and everything's going slow-mo because um, the game can't handle it. This happened last time when, uh, when I did the uh, Grand Tour circuit. When it's a circuit like this where the F1 car's not really meant to be... Um, yeah, the race sort of turns into this kind of slow-mo fest, and I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I've severely broken the game. I've, I've really, this time, I really have bro- I've really, truly, well and truly broken the game. I think, um, I think back to the drawing board, maybe less cars, maybe less cars. We're going with eight cars now, including me. We've got the, uh, we've got Sebastian, oh, we've got Leclerc right ahead of us. Actually, my bad, I'm driving his battle. Right, here we go. Six red lights, and we go again for the go-kart GP with F1 cars. And we're gonna make we're gonna make one overtake at least. Round the outside, side by side action here. And oh, uh, there's already been a spinner. Leclerc just get out of the way. That's uh, maybe that's what Vettel wanted to do to you uh, in the season anyway. So I've just done it for him. But we've actually made it through. We actually had a side by side moment there, and then the I've done the exact. Why, why have I done the same thing as the Red Bull? I, I'm why did I follow the AI? Try again. Maybe I'm not gonna be such a derp and actually remember the lines I literally took. But a moment to go in the hot laps. We go again. Six red lights. Can we make it through one lap, please? I've put ten, being quite ambitious. There's already 34 second laps. We make one overtake. We get punted off a little bit, though. We're still side by side. And it's actually been some decent racing here so far. But now... Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. I can make it through. I can make it through. I can... Nope. Leclerc. Charles. Charles. Sorry, Charles. Oh, I'm so... I... Okay, cool. That that makes sense. Cool. Sometimes you just look at things and you just wonder how how they could physically happen. And this was... This is one of them. Um, I don't know what the physics have become on this track with this car, but I just... I literally just tipped the Red Bull over. I will finish a whole lap. I will finish a whole lap properly without having to take an AI out. I will. Right. We're going to back off a little bit. We'll go side by side with this racing point, but I'm going to let him go, probably. Try and do a bit of a switchback, maybe, on the left. And then I'm going to tighten up. Go real tight here on the line. 
Come on, racing point. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Didn't take him out. Didn't take him out. Oh, side by side with the Alfa Romeo and the Red Bull there. Brilliant racing at the go-kart track. They both go off. I'm going to go off. We're going to get down the inside of Gasly, though. What a move. Oh, what an actual racing move on Pierre Gasly. Brilliant stuff there. Leclerc's retired, but we're still going and flying the flag. And look at this. They're actually driving okay in this last part of the lap because it's a little bit wider. Maybe a little bit easier. Here we go. Up into P4. Come on. Slow down. Good stuff. Catching the Alpha. A little bit wide there. We'll catch him here, though. I'm a little bit quicker through here. They definitely they don't they, they definitely can't make this corner properly. They're all hitting it, and so to that effect, I'll try around the outside. Oh, oh, we pinched him off. We've got the move, sublime move. This really is the best racing action you've seen. If this is not the best racing action you've seen all day, I'm gonna say, then uh, something's gone wrong because you're lying. This is marvelous. I mean, look at it. I'm now battling a McLaren for first place. This is what Formula 1's missing. Ferrari v McLaren, first place. You can only get it when you go to a go-kart circuit, clearly. Here we go. We're catching Norris. We're catching Norris. Has he drank his milk today? I don't know. It seems like he has, actually. He's doing quite well here at the moment. I feel like I'm almost shifted down for one more gear, but there's no more gears to go. Just staying in first. Oh, he's gone wide. Here we go. Should I get the exit? No. He gets... Ooh, I'm a little bit iffy there. Went too hot there. Could have been a crash into the barriers. I'm trying to do this as cleanly as I can. So far, we've been pretty damn clean. Haven't tipped over a Formula 1 car and haven't crashed or gone off too badly. But the AI are... And could I make a move on the outside, maybe? No, he pinches me off. He's gone very defensive there. Can we go on the left, though? Use the grass. We're side by side. This is not going to work. This is so not going to work. Oh, it might work. Go on. Come on. Keep going. Side by side. <laughs> Switch back. Gonna tie up the line. Switch back of dreams. Come on. Yes. Up into the... Oh, we're side by side. Oh, no. He's pushed me off. He's pushed me off. I'm genuine. I'm speechless here. I'm having an actual battle with the fall on car now. I can't actually get past him. I'm trying. But he's actually doing pretty damn decent. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got the move done. Leaving the space on the inside. Oh, he's spun. Nearly spun me. We got it, though. We got it to first. We've actually finally got it after a whole lap. Oh, no. I've made a mistake there, though. All right, so here we are watching this amazing battle. Ferrari v McLaren for the lead of the go-kart GP in Formula 1 cars. Lando Norris leads the race. The Ferrari of Leclerc is going to try and send one around the outside. Lando Norris pinches him. He tries to go for the move for the outside. Lando, very defensive there. Could he make a move, though, on the left-hand side? He's going to go the long way around there, side by side, potentially. They try and go around. They're making it work, though, on this tight twisting circuit through the left and then another right. The last corner. Lando, a little bit wide, though, and the Ferrari will get the switchback move there. They're side by side into turn one. Lando pushes the Ferrari wide, nearly into the barrier. They're still neck and neck and Lando Norris manages to keep the lead of this race for now. The Ferrari begging, begging for some action to be taken with FIA. But I'm sure they haven't even turned up to this go-kart circuit. But here we go. Norris wide. The Ferrari round the outside. It's a spectacular move as he drifts round. Lando makes some contact there. But the Ferrari is into the lead of this superdest race known to man. After a whole lap of battling, we've got it done. We only needed the five laps there, but we're in first place. How many people are still going? I don't know. I think there's only maybe me and Lando. I think maybe the Alpha maybe retired because they're all in blue. Oh, no, 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 no. To be fair, that Thomas guy in the fake Alpha, he's, yeah, I thought it was Riker or Geo. He, it's just some, someone random has uh, clearly just hopped into the Alpha Romeo. The Alpha Romeo team have turned up to this go-kart track. Kimmy and Geo are like, nah. Uh, I'm not driving this. And so they've just got Tom, who's just the local karting, karting enthusiast, to uh, hop in the Alpha. So we're still four runners in this race, I think. At least four. I would love to see by the track map, but there's no track map, like I said. So that's unfortunate. All right, we're on the final lap here. <laughs> this has been such a stupid GP. Such a stupid race. Such a stupid idea. But here we are. And we're on the last lap of this 10-lap little sprint race here. And we're absolutely mullering them. Lando Norris about... I think, that's, I think that's about 10 seconds behind me there. We've been pretty speedy here, getting the lines right. Keeping first gear for a lot of this, actually. I, I, I lie, you don't need to change up gears. Just stay in first the entire time. Just rev the engine out. And here we go. We have won the weirdest karting race in the world in Formula 
one cause. So yeah, guys, as I say, I, I, I don't know either. I don't know what this video was, but if you did enjoy it, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. What should I do next? What other wacky combinations? Other karting circuits? Other random circuits of Formula 1 cars? Or should I take the go-kart somewhere else to other F1 circuits? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see what I can rustle up. If you are new around here, just for weekly Formula 1 content. I've been Rafa. Hope you just stay. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.